they, they're not going to vote for you because they feel sorry for you, especially when you are the ruling government. They will not feel sorry for you. You ask for it. Okay, Ben. Please, no, uh, uh, please uh, uh, as I do, hold on. Let me bring in uh, Henry Pedro Costa. But before Henry will make a comment, uh, we'll go to Kiva's plan from Kiva Santo Mali. Uh, then Dr. P. Bada will come to you. So I uh, kept, uh, um, Andrew, welcome. Thank you. How's my audio? It's uh, your audio is bad. Try to little check something, you know. Is my audio okay now? No, no, it's not okay. There's Grand some, there's something going on with it. All right, hold on. Ground in the background, like granny sound. Uh, okay, okay. Before Pedro come in, let me say this. Mm. You know, um, one thing that breaks my heart most of the time is how much, with a straight face, we can deceive the Liberian people. We can deceive that Omar down there in the village. We can deceive mm -hmm. our people, knowing that the COVID affected the entire planet. We can see India. We can see India is going through a serious issue. We know in this country that we live in, we're losing jobs because of COVID. The biggest donor, America, the biggest donor around the world. What about Liberia? That this government met a broke country, a broke country, and then you expect this person to perform miracle? You know, uh, uh, to deceive the Liberian people, look them in the face and deceive them. And we know COVID is still an issue. Then you will look at the Liberian people and say. Why didn't you create one million job? How can we create one million job with this uh, pandemic? Under this pandemic, investors are not investing. They are not going. Matter of fact, so investors die during this COVID. Yeah, during this COVID, we know. <laughs> For you guys with, with a straight face and laugh and fool the Liberian people because you want power. We know that this COVID crippled and paralyzed the entire planet. And then you will look at the Liberian people, look at our mothers and lie to them. Is that your defense? It's okay. No, it's not okay. Speak the truth. No, I'm just asking. Speak That's your defense? Uh, no, very, 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 can you give Kev the opportunity to yeah. just Speak the do your one minute second? Tell our people that the entire planet is on standstill. Tell our people the truth. People whom America is living on a stimulus package. <laughs> Huge one. They're giving people thousands of dollars. That's to spend in the economy, to stimulate the economy. Thousands of dollars, free money. It is okay. true. Free money. All right, thank you, Kev. The economy because nobody going to work. Business are closing. The, the mom and pop store around the corner are closing. They All right, Kev, thank you. In our neighborhoods. Thank you, Kev. Thank you, and just fool the Liberian people is pathetic. It's wrong. It's evil. All right, so let's go to uh, St. Tomale. Uh, St. Tomale, go ahead quickly. Yeah, uh, I mean, our, our guest, ain't hey, Costa the guest today, right? Yeah, yeah, just I'll be actually one minute so we come to oh, you. Okay, so we are, okay. Uh again, uh, I want to say look, uh Kev, I don't know about Kev politics. I don't know, man. I don't understand. Let's Kev, speak the truth, man. Tell Kev, me. Honestly, Kev. Tell me, tell Kev, me, let's speak the truth, my man. Kev, let's tell it like brown people. If there's an argument for the 2020 election, Kev, then I I I will, I will okay. actually go, we'll, 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 we'll do more, it, it, more, more research. What, it, Kev, let, me, let me give you an example. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me give you an example. Tell me, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. The COVID impact the entire planet to a standstill. Okay, stop right there. Part. Stop right there. Prior to COVID in, in America, prior to the COVID, Donald Trump was on, on the way to re-election, right? Almost. Right? The economy was doing well. Unemployment, I saw unemployment, the COVID. I mean, unemployment was, unemployment was high. I mean, I mean was, was low. He, the, the stock market was booming. Everything was going positive direction for, for, for Trump. COVID came. It, 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 it told you the American people have time to say, well, they, they will blame COVID for, 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 for him. Because he, he failed to do what he should have done as, as commander-in-chief. As a result, he paid the price on the ballot. 
So if if you, if you if why you, why did Donald Trump pay the press at the ballot? Why? I, 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 no, Kev, Kev, well, just because it's we have to go to cost our our our, our guests, so we don't want to have like the dialogue. Uh, between you and, uh, so just make one minute comment, then before we go to uh, Dr. Cool. Peabody. Yeah, let me let me say here. I don't know what Kev uh, gets his myth from that the the, the country was uh broke uh very very broke and they didn't have anything and then all kept we're talking can, about is about hold on brother give me a chance i gave you a chance brother Kev, just one minute before we gotta go to our guest yeah Kev, we'll come to you. Kev, no, Kev, we'll come to you later hey, let's do the math that's a bit no no Kev, 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 just we, hold on please we, Kev, gotta, we, we sing gotta. together we sing together we don't talk together the fact here is the myth you got that all your 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 your, your point here was based on america we talking about liberia how did Liberia get affected for, 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 for the COVID? Liberia was blessed to be one of the country with less than 15% COVID rate in the country. Okay? So stop talking. When you talk about, let's talk about Liberia. Let's talk about what's happening in Liberia. Let's talk about corruption. Let's talk about some of the things that is happening. Let's talk about some of the things that is stopping investors from coming into the country. Let's talk things that are, that, that are very positive here. You just talk, you complete myth you saying here. That's my point, uh, uh, Emmanuel. Okay. Uh, 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 please. Uh, 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 Minister Doe, one minute before we go to our guest. One well, minute. Let me, let me provide a little bit of clarity to my brother Ben, who said, Yeah, in one if minute, I please. asking what is this government, yeah, just hold on, please. Why is it this government getting the amount of money that the former president covered, the former government? Well, it is an absurd question to be asking at the level of terminate with the understanding of how things work out. Unless you understand there is a difference, you know, as sorry to say, but when someone is living, a family collects less money than when someone dies from that family. When someone dies, you see everybody breaking money. You know the reason why? Because of poor crisis and some unfortunate situations. So you don't expect Liberia today, after Liberia is like on its own, to be getting as much as they got during the time Liberia was never on its own. My brother, we're talking about a lot of factors that play in the good of the form of the form of Right now, Omnil is not here. You ain't bringing that plenty of money. You get your own security on your head. You for yourself. Nobody coming, giving you hair to chew out. And you expect the same thing yesterday. That's why we must be part of today. Despite the fact that we have little or less, we are still doing as much better than those who had very more. And I'm not sure if they should be deceiving the people listening only because you want power. It is okay to criticize, and I do appreciate criticism as a person, but I know it makes me stronger. But that's where you just put out things when you know it's not true. I thought it's not fair to our people. All right. Exactly. Thank you so much. Uh, I would like to go uh, directly to our guys for the night. Uh, Pedro, again, welcome. I mean, you've been uh, listening to the conversation. Uh, what is your talk so far? First of all, let's see what my audio is much better than I is. It uh, uh, your audio is uh, a granny. I, the granny so I think you're using the microphone. If we could just use the all computer right. without all of your setup. Don't worry. I'm trying to switch to my desktop. It should be it should be better. But, okay. Uh, yes. I'm listening to the conversation, guys, and uh, I hear the, uh, the arguments being made. And uh, again, you, you're muted. Your microphone is muted. No. Uh, your mic is muted. Okay, go ahead. Let me sort this thing out. I'm trying to connect from my from my desktop. So what you do is sign me all from this from from this end, so that I can connect from my desktop. All right. Better. All right. While we sign you, uh, let's bring in uh, 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 George. Yeah, um, George Lobo. George Lobo, how are you doing, sir? Uh, Emmanuel, I'm, I'm, I'm wonderful, my man. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I've been following you guys, listening to the conversation. Why is everybody laughing? I just want to show up. I love to see you on, on the show, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Josh. I love you, Josh. I love you, man. <laughs> That's a good sign. Why like you want me to be? Let me fry or something like that, you know? <laughs> no, yeah, because as soon as I show up and then I saw your face, I said, "Timali, Josh," I said, "Okay, <laughs> no comment." <laughs> okay, I don't know if you, uh, 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 George, you were following the conversation. 
uh, uh, what is your to own some extent? Yeah, I just pick up certain pieces, uh, especially uh, I think I can recall when Peabody was talking about uh, what CPB needs to do in terms of voters education and things like that. Uh, that is one point that I, I, I strongly do support. Uh, that's one of the things I think will be a problem come 2023. Uh, because we as Liberians have agreed that our people don't know. And the question that I have asked is what have we done to help them to know? Uh, it's not sitting on Facebook and just talking. It's not sitting on Facebook and writing posts. Uh, but we need to go to our people. There needs to be a serious investment in civic education. Uh, people need to understand their roles and responsibilities as citizens, especially who they vote for for six years, nine years. Uh, and, uh, and Emmanuel, I'll tell you, if we, if we don't invest, all of us, especially those of us in the diaspora that have the capacity, to say we'll go home and join the guys on the ground in educating our people and helping them understand. Uh, I think it's going to get old to some extent where we continue to sit here and wait after election and then we say, oh, the people don't know. Then the next question is, what did you do to help them to know? So for me, I, I strongly believe in that. And my, my style of campaigning, I think you recall during the, during the referendum, that's one of the reasons why I went to Liberia. Uh, I went to Liberia on that, on that background that we need to educate our people. So those are some of the things I pick up because I'm kind of, you know, here to get on, but I'm glad to be here now. So there's a lot I, to I, talk about. I get, there's a lot to talk about. Also, we were looking at the issue that has to do with uh, come 2023. Uh, today we have the, you know, I mean, like Dr. P, Dr. Peabody said, uh, uh, move, you know, they reinstated their, their standard bearer. They brought in uh, uh, Dr. Mill Jones again. And they are saying that, you know, that committee that expelled uh, Dr. Mildjones were led by uh, the current uh, foreign minister, Dr. No, D. D uh, Kemeya, you know, <laughs> Masri Kemeya. And what you, what impact do you think this is going to make? That they also withdrawn their support from the CDC and are going to the Rainbow Alliance. So some of those icing will have any effect on the CPP or that of the CDC. Uh, I'll say this to you. Uh... Uh, uh, Emmanuel, uh, given where we are at this particular point in time, I think the Liberian people themselves have come to the conclusion that uh, it's not how many different persons are getting to the race that changes anything. Uh, if we had election today, this election will come down to maybe two or three major candidates. Simple. I don't care how many people flood the fields. Some people will, will get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.000 percent. Not at all. So it's not going to make any difference. Uh, for me, I'm not deterred by those things because uh, this is not the first time it is going to happen. The only thing is speak to Emmanuel, it just says that uh, we need to do something. There needs to be some serious reform in our country as to how a political institution uh, gets accredited and who contests for election. Uh, I strongly believe uh, why it is true we are open to multi-party system, uh, but we also need to be able to restrict some of these things because to be honest, some people just contest not because they know they will win. Some people, even in their own homes, people won't vote for them. Uh, but they join the fields because they believe that at the end of the day, they will come and make the argument uh, for job or government of inclusion. People see contesting as a means of securing an opportunity. And we need to we need to make changes to some of those things. Our election, election reform, all those things. You know, there's, there's, there's a lot that needs to be done. For me, I'll tell you. You know, one thing I like about the Labyrinth, Emmanuel, imagine the Labyrinth referred to Dr. Mel Jones as the poverty doctor. But the men who solve poverty problem in Liberia got less than, <laughs> less than 1% of the vote. That is to tell you the type of society we're dealing with. The man who you believe can solve poverty problem, he got less than 1% of the vote. So for me at this point, I'm not deterred. I mean, we have to, we have to be mindful and just be open to the process. CPP, for me, because I come from the CPP, our goal is not how many people get in the field. Our goal is what we do to ensure a CPP victory is my concern. We get right. every 200 contestants. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank coming, you so much. Coming, coming to the issue of this, Mel Jones, let me just make a comment. You know, if, I don't know. I, I've seen it since 90, when since 97, I've been watching this this trend. When it comes to elections in Liberia, people will just come, even just watch what, what will happen. They're gonna, you're going to notice that in the next coming months, we've got uh, two more months of election, right? You, 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 all the parties will, will start to re resurface. LPP, UPP, all the Osaka resurfaces. They'll come with all kind of. At the end of the day, 
I mean, it's like I know I, I won't. I, I have no chance of winning election, but at the end of the day, when we come to we're pushing for a runoff, then we'll play support to the party that will win so we can get something. That the foreign minister right now, yeah, he 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 tried his bit and he, and he succeeded. Today he's the he the dean of the librarian cabinet. He got a top job, right? Because he came from the movie, and they, when it, when the second round came, they, they endorsed the CDC tripartite coalition, and he was well, he was secure a, a job. So I know the day all these people coming back. I mean, like like George said, no need to. They not, they come just to, just for, for for their own future. Looking at at end of the day, what they get at the end of the day. That's all. So it's it's not nothing, not no big news for me, for me to say. Any parties should get worried right. about them. All right, thank you so much. So let's go to uh, Pedro. I think, uh, you, you can hear all clear, right? Yeah. Uh, and can you guys hear me very well now? Yeah, very well, loud and clear. Go ahead. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Uh, good to be here. Uh, thank you for the op for the opportunity. I don't have a lot of time with you guys today. I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, you just have about thirty minutes. Thirty minutes, great. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I just want to piggyback off of what Kev was saying, and what Isaac Doe was saying. The voters are not considerate. The voters do not have sympathy. They will vote you out. They're not going to sit here and let you tell them when did COVID come? COVID came in 2020. You had two years in power for January 2018. To January 2000, to all the way to 2020 before COVID came. Then you want to come make excuses? When did you start stealing? You started stealing from the very from the very get go. Building mansions, the condominiums are up before COVID. The Ninth Street Mansion was demolished, and the, and the brand new one built there before COVID. So you're not gonna get that lame excuse to the Liberian people. COVID is bad. You talk about stimulus. You want to talk about stimulus? Seriously? Did you not have Wilson Tapper today at the Senate saying they they give uh, stimulus to 2.3 million people? Are you guys not shamed? You're talking about stimulus in America? Yeah, you borrowed $50 million from the IMF and you stole it. You should be ashamed of yourself. Where is the, the, the financial support, the, the assistance to the market women? Did you not say you were going to wipe out millions of dollars in small loans to Liberian business women and, and, and men? Did you do that? You didn't do that. So you have nothing to, to talk about, nothing to wrap room about. The Liberian people will replace you in 2023 with the CPP. It is clear. We sent you a loud message on December 8th. We whip you in Maserata County by over 60%. We whip you in Basa. We whip you in Magibi. We whip you all over the country. And yet you think you can win an election? Something has got to be wrong with you. You better wake up. We're not going to sit there and say, let me sorry for that COVID. Came. COVID came in 2020. You started doing bad things since 2018. We will whip you for the bad things you did before COVID. And we will stay with... What were you depending on? I see Isaac Doe say Omni left. Omni had a $500 million budget. That is correct. Isaac Doe, you knew Omni was leaving and were pulling a half a billion dollars a year and you went and made an unrealistic projection and promise in your useless pro pro development agenda that you create a quarter of a million jobs. Uh, 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 Pedro, Pedro, let me hold you there. Let me hold you there. Uh, we will have to, you know, I know we, we're on the spoon talk. We're going to have to be selective of our awards use here. So I mean, what? this so directly. Did I insult so anybody? Not, anybody? No, I'm just saying we will not use that word. Uh, let's just go directly. Let's have you know a friendly conversation. I don't want it to be like you know. We, uh, that. No, come down, tone, tone down, please. All right, let's go to the let's now. Uh, now uh, every time you come, uh, you uh, you 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 kind of talk about you know the CDC. Just hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm coming, please. Uh, hold on, please. No, I said please. I said just hold on one minute, please. Just one minute. We're coming to you. Uh, let's do this in a manner where, because we have a lot of people following, and uh, Costa is our guest, so that's why I'm just telling you to calm down and address the issue that we're going to be discussing here. So it's not going to be like, you know, we are uh, having the heated debate, you know, let's have the discussion so that other people who are following us can understand exactly, and let's make our point in a way that people will feel comfortable in responding, instead of somebody feeling that you're insulting them or they feel uncomfortable being on the platform. So uh, um, uh, just one minute, Pedro, before we can go to Isidu. Yeah. So what I was basically saying, uh, Emmanuel, is that these guys promised to create 250,000 jobs a year. What did they base their projection on? It's in the pro, -pro development agenda. That piece of paper they wrote, I'm pretty sure George Weah did not read. They said they will create 250,000 jobs. Are you kidding me? What were they depending on? Then you got Kef now making this lazy uh, uh, apology statement. Oh, and the economy bad and people left. 
Did you not know that Ahmed was leaving before he promised to create 250,000 jobs? If I let me ask uh, Isaac though, what are the latest job numbers? Isaac, that's that's my question to Isaac. What are the latest job numbers? All right, so we'll, hold on. Uh, let's uh, uh, Minister Doe Erwin, respond. Erin, you've done. All I have seen so far is an emotionally high coaster causing noise for about Because now respond you have to calm down. <laughs> okay. okay. Hold on. Uh, wait, I mean, uh, we're not hearing you. Down. And His internet is very bad. We, we're not hearing him. That in, the of the, in the home of a deputy yeah. minister, too? Yeah. It doesn't matter. The no, deputy minister is not going to do it with the deputy minister. No. <laughs> we got Isaac, though. Can you go? Isaac, in we can, can you get on and come yeah. back? Yeah. 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 Basically, basically, okay, basically, I'm saying all I have all I have noticed is a very, very high coaster. There is no good internet. Okay, so let's go to uh, uh, um, I don't know. I saw Kev. Let me see this take their question. Basically, um, I know coaster with your talking point. point and just come out and mislead our people. And knowing the fact that you spend time, the first 10 months, and speaking the truth about this government. You spoke the truth in the first 10 months. <laughs> but because of certain reason, you turn around. And you know the truth, Costa. You know COVID is an impact. You know COVID started in 2019. That's why it called COVID-19. And you're telling the Liberian people, it's 20, 20, 20. And you know and you're wrong. But let me say this to you as a warning. This general election, all the misleading, all the untrue. We're going to go toe to toe with you guys and explain to the Liberian people. Toe to toe with you guys. You know, you this, this, this government this, meant a broke country. A broke. You guys know the truth. But because you will come out, come out and just tell the Liberian people things. We're not going to allow it no more. We will speak uh, the yeah. truth to the Liberian people. 514. Yeah million LD, 7,000 USD. You put it B. together. B. It's yeah. about 14. Yeah. It's about yeah. 14 million US. Yeah. So, uh, okay. My question to you, and my question to you, Costa, how much it take to run a government monthly? Can you no, go monthly. straight to the point? How much it take to run the government monthly? Monthly. Guys, one, no, 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 Ben. Wait, no, Kim. Answer that question. Question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Answer that question. question. I just want to say something quickly. Um, um, Kev, I know you. You talk about how much talk it is to run the government monthly, but do you understand though that on a monthly basis the government is collecting revenue? So it's not like five hundred million dollars. It's five hundred million. I'm US telling you dollars. what the government <laughs> makes. What the government makes and how to run the country. Yeah, that, no, but that's not what I mean. Okay, listen. Let the go. That is. Let's cost that. Answer that question. How much it take to run a country? So we can establish. You, you that ask Ellis Cummings that same question. Ben, but ben, 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 let's let's give Costa. I mean, let's give uh, Kev. Yeah, about the, 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 uh, I, Costa. Costa is the guest. For those of you listening to us, uh, Kev, just hold on. Those of you listening to us, uh, today, um, Costa is our guest. Mm -hmm. So, Kev, uh, uh, Minister Doe. And every other person on the show have the right to ask Costa a question. And Costa, we're going to give you at least one minute, 30 seconds for you to respond to each of the questions that will be coming to you. So, uh, Kev just asked a question. How much does it take to run a government? You know, if only Kev had listened to Ben Sanvi, I would not need to answer this question. That's what I was trying to say. No, answer the question. Ask 
I'm Kevin, not asking Ben. Well, you ask a question, let me answer the question. Let me tell you how, how it works. The budget is projection. You project and you collect over a period and you spend. That's the way the budget works. Continuous, the continent got to come to the port before you collect the money to spend it. That's not my question there. Hey, let's see my, what what we we met a broke country. Okay, you Kev, wait, Kev, we met a broke country. Kev, Kev, hold on. Kev. That's what, not Kev, wait, wait, wait. wait. Kev. Kev. Listen. Kev, Kev hold on. If, Kev, if he doesn't ask, Pedro, just hold on, please. He's around the bush. No, Kev, just hold on. And Pedro, please hold on. Kev, I'm from the former government. You are, you are the, or the host. So if he asks, if he asks you a question, and he doesn't answer, answer you wait after he answers, then you can go back and frame the question the Let other way for you to answer. So, Pedro, please go ahead. Thank you. Kev, there's no such thing as a broke government. Yo, you be mayor, Kev. The government generates money. Money is being generated, so it's not broke. As long as the machinery, the infrastructure is in place, they can leave you with zero dollars, but when you come, you will generate money. That's the way government works. So this law that you that you citizens like to project that the government they inherited a broke government. Then how have they been paying salaries and how has John we have been paying for flying private jet? So the government was not broke. What you met at the time was the the bank balance. Exactly. The bank balance is not the same as the government being broke. The revenue generating capacity or infrastructure were already in place. So you you are lying. It is you who received the revenue. What revenue? But Kev, 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 I beg you. Ben, it's me, Acosta. Leave this thing. No, no, you can't say. No, Kev, you can't say that. You can't say that. Okay, Ben, 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 Ben. Imana, please wait. Imana, you don't please wait. I beg you. Wait. Yeah, please. We'll come. We'll come to you. Imana, you wait. Kev, you can't say. You can't say it's you and Costa. You can't say that. You cannot, and we cannot railroad the conversation. There are facts here, and there are opinions. There, it is a fact that the government machinery runs. No government has... It is a fact that the government met a broke country. But, but Let me that, answer that question for him. That's what I'm saying, saying to you. That's what I'm what? saying to you. We cannot railroad the conversation what? on that what? opinion. What, what revenue mechanism does the, 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 the past... Let me come in. Let me come in. Again. How have you been suspending yourself? Kev, uh, you can't do that, man. Let me let me answer this question for Kev today. We can't simple do that. Go ahead, Kev. George. Go ahead, George. Yeah. So, Kev, I did that question should have come to me. I come from the former government. So here's a fact here. The notion that you people continue to spill all these lies that you inherited a broke economy is not true. The very first thing you must understand, Kev, when you took over government, your president have been very clear on the total debt we had in terms of area. How can you meet a broke economy? In the first six months when you did the recast budget, you gave the president worth 500000 Does it make any sense to us here? Gave the government what? Let me finish my statement. Sir, you asked a question. Let me finish. You gave the president worth 500000 in the recast of budget of 2018. Do you recall that? That was not a broke country. You told Akara Gray, nag his chest and said, when we came in the first six months, we put additional 2,000 teachers on payroll. A broke Government will not do that. Okay? okay? So that notion, that's just another lie and a lame excuse that the government have been using. Let me help you with something, Kev. When you all took over power, you inherited a national reserve of $154.6 million. $154.8 million. You were not broke. When the UP inherited like broke in 2006, we met $6.5 million in the national reserve. The play you took the $25 million for the map up, that's where it came from. So the notion that you keep calling about some 14 million here, you are misinforming the public. How can you say you are broke? You met one, you met 10.5 billion Labrand dollars, which was printed that arrived in the country in November, that was infused under your government. You still want to be running around and telling us you're broke? Let me tell you, Kev, what you people have convinced yourself is that that you will tell the Labrand people lies and think that will slide. I don't the think, think we just straight face you. Bro, I'm just telling you. George, 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 let them let them into what you're talking about. Yes. Kev, interject, please. It makes sense okay. what you're talking about, George. Jo okay, you? okay, Kev, Kev, you know, interject, sense, George. interject, interject, and tell him, and come counter what he said. Interject. Thank you. Kev, go ahead. It don't even make sense. The fact is, the government met 514 Liberian dollars, 7,000 USD. So, so, so Kev, when you have that amount, 
We have that man. Let me ask you a question. Please, uh, uh, Ben. Ben. Kev Hassan. Tell me that. Kev Hassan. How much is run? Kev Hassan. Calm down. Calm down. Get me the Kev. How much is run? How much? Tell me. Kev. Just calm down. Kev, please. Kev. God, no one cannot tell me. Okay. Costa cannot tell me. You're wasting your time. Don't tell me. Okay. You're interjecting. So, Kev, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this, Kev. Did the government? Did the government of Liberia in February, after President Weah got inaugurated? Did the government of Liberia pay civil seven salaries? Yes, yes they did. Know. Yes or no? Did they pay civil seven salary? Okay. Uh, because, uh, because no, no, no. Hey, no, 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 no yes or no? Did they pay civil seven salary? No, no, no. They are in the eight million. They took it for the pay. Okay. We're going to do a this, please. Imano, one second, please. Okay. Yes, please. Let me just. There was no revenue. I get Ben. Ben. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on, everybody, please. Please hold Emmanuel. up. Uh, uh, Emmanuel. Yeah, please. Emmanuel. Yeah, there you might have run it. Yeah, please. Oh, on, he on, was on, interjecting. Yeah, I understand. This show is only for two hours today. Uh, please, Costa is the guest. The guest. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, Kev is not a guest. Let our, our one of us direct our question at Costa. Then him, okay. you know, instead of us having the no. debate between the host with Kev. Costa okay. is a guest. So if, as a host, you can ask Costa some questions. Concerning what he's doing or whatever, you know, he I think have about something for Costa anyway. If you do have yeah, so with his, uh, no, I think Sintamali and Dr. P. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, I think let Isaac, let Isaac go ahead with his. Yeah, but let's do an easier round. So we can ask that question. question. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Like, uh, uh, Isaac, what you I like was way. trying to say, I'm yet to understand a thing from Mr. Costa because all I've seen is an emotionally very high person who is just cussing noise all around the place. If Costa comes down and speak his point out for our ears to actually understand what he's saying, he's saying emotional, then we'll be talking a good thing. But I know someone is talking about fat. Let me tell us fat on this show. Everything you people say tells me almost no one here, maybe I would say, has a very good understanding of how government runs. Certainly, my George, he talking about having money in the reserve, so that book economy. I'm not sure why it's my brother. My brother is a good brother. He understands what he's talking. But let's let's what, what, what is the fact? The fact here is Mr. Costa should first leave from the US, come to Liberia to face justice here. That is a one fact. Then we can start going beyond that. But before then, I'm not sure we should be having a yearly conversation around this place and somebody just just emotionally talking all around the place. So stay back and get let the conversation conversation go on. You know, yeah. if, if we stop yelling and think that we can come into it. Because I said, what a question. I said, what a question. You can't face no question. Okay, so, Tomlin, please ask your question. Yeah. Okay, so, Tomlin, go ahead. Yeah, uh, um, uh, Mr. Costa, uh, good to see you again. Okay. My question is, we went into election, right? Um, The argument will be, the argument is being made now. President, we are saying, look, you guys give me six years. I'm in my third, going my fourth year. Yeah, 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 my, I'm, I'm, I'm touring the country. I'm dedicating projects. I'm, 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 I'm making people uh, the areas where people know how life before for many, many years. Uh, the, the former part U, UP had twelve years. They couldn't put lights in in all the con the, in, in the in the country or the throughout the country. But yeah, my, everywhere I go, I leave, I leave my, my, my full step. I put the lights there, giving lights to the people, uh, giving the people some hope. I'm, I'm dedicating projects. I'm breaking grounds for new projects. You know, I, I try to. Inspired my people, and you also say, "Look, just just uh, yesterday, I was with the U.S. ambassador. What we are doing a close of the the, the, the Millennium uh, 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 Challenge, a uh, 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 compact uh, 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 program for the, uh, Mah Mahadro, and he thinks a lot. I'm 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 going to give job. I'm, I'm going to provide jobs. Challenge, challenge you, and, and I'm is about to come back to like, return to Liberia and to create jobs and work with the people of like work with my government." My, uh, Few few weeks from now, I'll be uh, uh, talking. I'll talk to um, uh, um, Steel. We'll be announcing some economic uh, news for Liberia. So the argument is that look, uh, Mr. Costa, you guys are saying I'm, I'm not doing nothing. I, I'm, I shouldn't be given a second term. But here's what I'm doing right now, and I think my people will follow me. So what? When? How can you? How can you? Uh, 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 challenge him on, 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 on that. Uh, 
Chumaling, that's a very good point. The thing here is this. Every government, you live in the United States, you know how it works. Yeah. The popularity or the job approval rating of the government is determined during the midterm elections. That's the way it works. The CDC government put forward candidates in every single county. They won less than three, less than four counties. They did not win Grand Gita because of CDC. They won it because of Zoe Panel. They certainly did not win the other counties because of their own. They lost massively. George, we have personally raised the hand of multiple candidates who were massively defeated. That is not consistent with the George Weah we know from 2005 and 2011. George Weah, the Liberian people have already determined that he is a failure. There is nothing he could do that would change that. They believe it because they live it. A guy like Kev can say whatever he wants to say, but thank thankfully, the people know better than Kev does. You understand? Because the people live the reality. The people want, look, putting street lights that cost 60 bucks. Huh? Buying street lights that cost 60 bucks that will last for three months. Is that what you call lighting up the city? I mean, the other day, you guys spend your precious time on this massive platform to discuss absolute an absolutely insignificant subject. Street lights, sister dollar solar street lights that are going to go off in a few these uh, cosmetic projects. The president goes there, he puts a few street lights up. I can buy those street lights and put them up myself. I can raise tens of thousands of dollars and buy hundreds of street lights because they are they cost sixty dollars a piece. And besides, these are not the things we're talking about. We're talking about bread and butter issues. So, Mr. George, to answer your question, George, we are, will not be reelected. He will not. And it will not be because of how loudly Costa speaks or how, or, or how elo eloquently Ben Sandy and, 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 and George Lobo speak. It is Yakba. Hunger speaks louder than all of us. Hardship. It is what will make George Mia lose. All right. Uh, sir, uh, Dr. Peabody. Uh, 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 Brother Costa, good to see you. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, uh, what, what do you think that the CPP needs to do to win an election in Liberia, what do you think the need to do, brother? Brother Henry P. But I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be candid. The CPP has had their work, I mean their work, very made easy for them. The CPP has not been doing much. Let's be kind. Let's be very clear. The CPP lacks re financial resources. We operate in a country where we are strangled. The economy is made bad by the government. We are not moving out as much as we should be because we don't have resources thanks to the government that's in power. Now, the CPP, I don't think they have anything to do. George Weah is doing all of the work for us. The more people get mysteriously murdered, the more corruption takes place in the country, massive display, wantum display of unexplained wealth, it makes our job easy. The more they destroy the economy and make lives miserable for the Liberian people, what did we do to win massively as we did December 8th? Guys, let's be clear. I'm a political strategist here. We didn't do much work. We really didn't do much work. Yet we won very massively. What did Dillon do in one year that necessitated him winning as massively as he as he did? All he did was to basically say, look at the way the government is behaving. And look at what we want to do. And look at what they're stopping us from doing. And that's basically it. So, hey, we're going to win. We're, we're going to beat these people very badly. And it will not be because of any special work that we're going to do. It's largely based on the very good work that George Weah is doing. The amazing work that Kev Hassan is so proud proud of. That is the amazing work that's going to win us the election that will kick them out and put them in jail. All right. Uh, Mr. Lobo. Uh, Pedro, how you doing, my man? Thanks to see you. you you're too fire up. But yeah, you scared yeah. my city. Uh, let me ask uh, you let this question. question. You were in Liberia during the previous 12 years. You had your own running with the previous government. Uh, there are issues, there are some things you like, some things you didn't like, which we all know. But I will say this, I just want to ask you as a Liberian, with all the challenges or the interaction you have with the previous government, uh, Costa, given where Liberia is today, if you look at the situation in the country, from the cost of living, the price of basic commodities, uh, Civil servants being paid. What is your own assessment? Because you were a major talk show host and you were in Liberia during the 12 years. 
what do you say if an ordinary librarian was to ask you today what are the circumstances like as compared to the previous administration and that of this administration look i think i'm i'm the most objective person to ask this question to because i had my own unfortunate run-in with the previous administration but what you didn't add brother lobo is that i am a business owner as well i own businesses or at least i did now i only have one business in liberia i had a radio station with 24 employees business was good we made money we paid our staff i didn't take i didn't have to take government con contract once or twice, I got a government contract. The government was doing an open budget initiative, even though I was an opposition person, as they, they consider me, but they still awarded me a $15,000 con contract as an opposition critic. Amara Corny awarded me a $15,000 contract to do the open budget initiative. It was being awarded to several people. I participated and gave it to me. I was surprised. There was a degree of decency. Things were not perfect. But you could sit down with the guys. We used to sit up a hilltop and drink beer together. Today, the guys will murder you in the in the dark. The times are not the same. Business wise, things were things were far far not as bad as they are as, as they are today. I'm 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 in the timber business, right? That's the other right. business too. We make planks and we sell planks. We hardly we have planks. We hardly sell the planks, guys. It's a struggle to sell the planks. People can't find food to eat. You think they're going to buy planks to build houses? They can't. People are not even building. The only people who are building the George Weir, McGill, and Samuel Twain, those people, they are the only ones building today. So the economy is extremely bad. And I speak to you as someone who owned businesses in the country. I had two. George Weir shut one down. I only have one now, and I can't even sell the planks. We struggle to sell the planks. That is how bad the country is today. And everybody you speak to, they tell you the same, the same, the same thing. So things are terrible, George. Very, very bad. Nothing compared okay. to what okay. on the okay. And you know, I'm no fan of Ellen, but it was nothing compared to him, my brother. Okay. All right, so well, let's just go to uh, Kev, then we'll go to Ben after Kev. Go ahead, Kev. Okay. 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 okay, let me say this. Um, it's a shame that you and, and George Lobo, who's supporting the same leader, Buckeye, you're, you 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 don't, you can't even explain to librarian people how much it take takes to run a government. It's a shame. It's a shame. So you guys come on air and sit and sit. You don't even you don't know. even know. And and uh, Mr. Costa, you talk about murder. You talk about uh, the government. You 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 went on your show and bring out. Uh, uh, what I would say, a misleading story on our great mayor. Misleading. Misleading. Can you apologize for that misleading story on our uh, 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 mayor? You come up with this for a, a faulty allegation, which you don't have no evidence of. And just come up with a story. Can you on this uh, 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 panel or explain to the librarian people and apologize for that. And secondly, and secondly, I, and let me ask you this question. It's because, it's because of the alliance of the with your former wife, with Koji. That's why you're coming up with all this bogus lie against. You You fail on the Justina Taylor, and then you come in with another. It's because, and tell the librarian people, it's because of the alliance with your former wife, and, 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 and Koji, and Koji. Are you coming and, up with this? Can you explain that? Kev, you are a despicable, indecent, immoral guy. To call into question a, a, a responsible, well-educated, world-rounded, sophisticated woman's private life into our political discussion here, this is the lowest ep you've ever gone. I mean, I have a little bit of a I still had a little bit of respect for you, but you've just lost it all. Look, let me tell you something. I will not dignify that, that complete silly innuendo with an answer. But here is what I will tell you. The man you call decent mayor. Don't forget, he was referred to as a tug. A tug. A low-level tug by Chris Smith. Just so you know. I owe him no apology and I will offer none. Absolutely none. And just wait. 
to see what's going to happen to your so-called well-respected mayor very soon. That is all I will say. That's all I will say. Yeah, okay. but, uh, so let's go to uh, are you, uh, Ben. Let me say no, something. Kev, um, Kev your, your time is up. Let's go let to me Ben. Let me do a follow-up. Let me do a follow-up. Let me do a follow-up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Listen, yeah. listen, uh, 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 Costa. You have questioned decent people in our community. I think it's a fair game to question your motive against our decent mayor. Because you have questioned a lot of people. When we come and question your motive, you get angry. It's a fair game to question. I did not, I did not say anything or insulting a, 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 a statement to your 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 former your former wife. I'm just I'm yes. just asking you a question. Yes. You can, can choose I, can to I say, say you can choose to say gentlemen, no. gentlemen, scared. But now that mention people wife here. That's totally inappropriate. You, you, you have to let us not do that. This is not a reflection of spawn. Let us not do that. Why this is not a reflection of spawn. Does this guy take a question? Why we cannot question if your wife, your former wife, have an alliance? You have spoke about other people's wives. You have spoke about the first lady. But Kev, Kev let me ask you a fair game. game. Kev, let me say something. To, Kev. to question your motive. Kev, you got more questions to ask than this, but you got questions. Is that, is that all right. Uh, um, so, uh, uh, Ben, before okay. you come in, uh, let, me, okay, let me just, let me just, let me just, you, you Kev, Kev, let me hold you on. Well, we Kev, let me hold you there, please. Question your motive and come up with things, you guys get angry. But you will question our... So then why, then why do I criticize family. Miguel? Is he behind my ex-wife too? Why do I criticize George Weir? Is he behind my ex-wife too? Why do I criticize all the other officials of the government? Are they all chasing her? You come every day, every day, Koji, 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 we have no evidence. We okay, I kept, I kept, you, uh, the law of, 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 of soliciting $2.5 million in bribe? I'm not a you. I built my following on the basis of the credibility of the stories I put out. Okay, what, 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 what credible what you? information you got? You, what credible information you got on your on your, your recent uh, post? Captain has a guess. Howard, yeah. Howard, oh Howard works for Mayor Zero. Koji as his bodyguard. He is the one who offered to sell the people's land. He is the one who's offered to sell the people's land to Koji. Jasro Howard works for Koji. You understand that? So, so if you offer to sell the people, if you offer to sell, right. sell, sell the land, uh, 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 so, uh, uh, so hello. how Koji become the, the most important Next question, okay, hello, please. Uh, hello. please. Pedro, uh, Pedro, Pedro uh, I'm going to mute you guys, please. Uh, let me just mute uh, Pedro and mute uh, Kev. And Kev, we have to understand this. You are the host on the program. And as such, uh, you have to come down. And stop being, uh, you know, I'm not going to judge you, but I think you're going too high, temperamental. Let's calm down and ask the question and stop going personal yet. Because at the end of the day, this is why sometimes I come on the show, I won't talk. Because for me, this is my profession. I'm not doing it as part-time. So let us respect the platform and engage the questions as they should be, rather than getting personally involved with other people's character. Like Pedro started his statement, the first statement he made, I said to him, look, you have to calm down. We're not going to use certain words yet to make other people to feel bad. And it's not the same order. Let's have the show in a manner where people can understand that it would not be like, it's going to be like, you know, uh, between me and today, Pa, we're giving it to each other. No. I don't, for me, I don't support that, that kind of show. Let's do it because there are a lot of people. We have over 2,700 persons following only online. That is for Facebook. I don't know the number of people that are following on, on YouTube before we talk about the three radio stations that people are listening to and the TV station that somebody is watching you in their living room. Let's go directly to the point and discuss it as, you know, um, I don't want to use this word, but let us be a mode of our free of our personal issue. We shouldn't go that route. As a question. Can, can I come up with a disclaimer? Can I come up with a disclaimer that the, the reflection of Kev is not a reflection of this station? Uh, uh, in mentioning anybody wife who is not a public official or things like that, it is not a reflection of uh, spawn spawn talk. I just want to say that. Uh, Costa, Costa, let me let me let me come in. Where do you think? Where do you think this government went wrong? And and the reason I'm asking you this question is. We had a conversation right after George Weah became president. 
And I mean, I'm not going to go into the details of the conversation, but it went around. We have to give him a chance. Right. And listen, Ben, this guy is. It's a young man relative relative with his age. Right. And this is who the people want. They're giving him an opportunity to lead. We have a responsibility now to support. Where do you think this government went wrong that ultimately led to June 7, that ultimately led to where we are today, right? Where do you think they went wrong? I just want, I, I need you, I need to, to, to hear what your thoughts are especially for someone who supported them for 10 months. And you're muted. Go ahead. Uh, unmute yourself. All right. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Now we're hearing. All right, guys. Um, you know, I joined this. I made a decision to give the government a chance because of exactly the conversation you said we had. And I had, I spoke with several people. McGill and Twe were the two persons who reached out to me. I had a long relationship with McGill, didn't as far back as 2005. We both went to CDC in 2011. When he asked me to support, I didn't really believe that this government meant well. But I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt. I had bashed them, I had criticized them, I had said, all kind, all manners of things about them during the elections, and I felt I needed to give him a chance. But I was hoping that I would not be proved right. You know how Ben, sometimes you you expect things will be bad, but you say, "I hope I'm not right, or I wouldn't be right." When when the guys began to concern themselves with amassing wealth, take my friend McGill for example. McGill used to live in a house somewhere. Uh, on the 72nd Boulevard. He lived there for many years. He never had any money. When he became Minister of State, our mutual friend, Jetty, the Indian businessman, gave him a one-bedroom apartment in his compound opposite Era Supermarket. I used to go there to see McGill. McGill had nothing. McGill had one old Toyota Sequoia that he used to drive around. But all of a sudden, my McGill stayed in that era supermarket, that compound for one year. Suddenly, McGill bought a house over $200,000. George, we have started making properties. I think the fundamental place where they went wrong then was when they began to concern themselves with wealth acquisition right there in the face of the people while the people were suffering. And then the expectations the people put on George, we they believed that George Weah was better than Ellen. George Weah was not a traditional politician. He was this guy from Gibraltar. He understood their plight. He was going to try to make a change in their lives. But when they saw George Weah flying private jet and building mansions all over the place, the people were angry. And that is why they turned out in their many thousands on June 7. Ben, you and I, many people may not know this. The whole idea of June 7 was formed. Ben Sevy and I came up with a whole idea. Before COP was, the, before there was even a COP, we used to have these conversations every day. Something needed to be done. We needed to air out, vent out our frustration. So I think the reason why George Weah is so unpopular today is because the people placed him on a high pedestal, Ben. They expected this guy from Gibraltar who came from the slum made it to Paris and the UK and, and captivated the, the imagine the attention of the whole world, came back home, became a politician, struggled for 12 years, eventually became president. They thought he would be different. They thought he would be their guy. But George, we had turned out to be uh, a massive disappointment. I think when the people saw that, that was it for them. I heard one old lady say, just to close up, guys, I heard one old, old lady say, you know, the people been saying the man can see the man can see. I didn't believe it until I saw the man horse picture. All the BB horses. So for that old lady, she didn't need Henry Costa to convince her. But when she saw the pictures of the mansions and the condominiums, for her, that was it. So that's so my follow So my, my follow-up is this. Do you believe, because there is a tendency, and, and, and I've started and I've seen it, I've seen this, I've seen this thread. People tend to blame 
the folks around the president rather than rather the president. right right hello i'm hearing myself I can, I can okay hear you. much better okay good so people tend to blame the folks around the president right they say oh if, if, if the president would just change this person or or these people spoiling the president government and and i always remind people you know as a student of history I never really saw people blame people around Ellen, though. I saw Ellen take the heat. She took the heat. When, when, when we were criticizing Ellen in the opposition, meaning you, me, the CDC, all of us, we never criticized, well, maybe apart from Robert Salif, but we but never really we criticized know. specific ministers, right? To say, oh, this minister is responsible it's for this. Responsible. What do you what think do you is this notion and do you think this is a, this is this is something that may this is a lifeline that President We may hold on to to say I'm not the problem and my people around me is the problem? Do you think that's gonna work for him? No, Ben. The reason it will not work for George We are because he's not a traditional politician. His people never saw him as one. They saw him as this outsider, poor boy from Gibraltar, to come in and change the country for them. You can't blame why a lot of citizens gravitated toward George Weah. The only ones I blame today are the ones like Kev who are still stuck with him even though he's messed up the country. But the ones that gravitated toward him genuinely believing him to be different, believing him to be the guy who would change their story, those ones will never forgive him, Ben. Because you know what? They always felt George Weah loves the he got a country at heart. They're the ones who conjure up that myth that he loves the country. And when people say you, when people think you love them and you treat them badly, Ben, they don't easily forgive you. So the, the situation with George Weah, they didn't vote for him because they knew he had all the best ideas. They voted for him because they thought he loved them. He loved the country. So for him to fail the people who believe that he loved them, it's not something that they're going to easily forgive him for. They're not going to easily forgive him for, the, for, the, for that. So they don't use this thing, yastic. So you're not going to make the excuse, oh, don't blame the president, blame McGill. Don't blame the president, blame the... I've heard citizens say, then fire McGill or fire Samuel Twell or fire the people who are the problem. So no, Ben, I don't agree that the old excuse would apply to George Weah. It would certainly not be a political lifeline for him to escape and say, oh, yeah, don't blame me. Uh, blame the people around me. They're not going to buy into that. All right. So I'll uh, see Mulling. Come in, please. Okay, yeah, now, Costa, um, recently you went to Washington, D.C., and you had some meetings there. And since you came back, um, I know people have been adopting, uh, saying some people, your critics were saying, oh, it wasn't a real, a, a serious meeting and so forth. But I know you may not go into details, details about what you discussed there. But but I, I've been hearing, hearing you recently saying that you are confident, with confidence saying that there will be... Uh, action soon uh you've been saying the confidence uh do you still stand that you, you are confident that there will be serious actions against the we are government soon by the u.s government yes so uh when i went to dc i did not tell them i was going to dc to have a meeting at the pentagon it was citizens who conjured that up they made that one up they the individuals that I met in DC specifically ask me not to call their names or divulge the, 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 the content of our conversation in detail. I can say this to you definitively. Let citizens be making mockery. The same way they were sitting there when we told them we're going to flog them in Maserati, we'll flog them. That's the thing with them. They never wake up, they never wise up. Sanctions are coming. Visa restrictions are already in effect. Visa restrictions are already in effect. The visa restrictions will not be announced. They will not be announced. The sanctions will be published on the OFAC, the Office of Foreign Assets Control. You have two U.S. government agencies working here. What did you... The, the, the citizens can read, but they don't comprehend. The U.S. Embassy put out a statement a few weeks ago. What did they say? A number, let me quote them verbatim, word for word. They said a number of, Liber of Liberians in government 
have recently been added or has have recently been direct i mean designated as corrupt actors by the united states uh, state department and the united states treasury department who designated do you know what the word designated means when you are designated for sanctions or for visa restriction that is what sanction the, the people issued a statement to that effect yet the citizens are saying that now we don't want to talking about the statement is there Tom, i'm sure you've read the statement so yeah. sanctions are already in effect my friend a number of government officials tons of them the senior ones not the insignificant ones like uh, isaac Doe, the top ones they will not be able to come to the united states they will not be able their access will be uh, people will be cautioned from doing business with them the u.s government through the state through the embassy has already issued a statement i i don't know what you guys are confused about they've already issued a statement so yes i had Ms. meeting Ms. People. mr costa mr costa let me finish up, up I, 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 I had a meeting i had a meeting with the chief of investigations for the sanctions and the no, but Isaac, Isaac, you can't can, can do that. Isaac, Isaac, you cannot do that. Please, please wait. Just hold on. Hold on, Isaac. Please hold on. We'll come to you. After Sintamalin, we go to Dr. Peabody. George Lobo, and before we come to you. So hold on, no, please. You want to give Isaac. me, you will give me time. No, just hold on, Isaac. Isaac, you will not control Isaac, the program. Isaac, hold on. Yeah. Do, do Isaac, Isaac, hold on. Let me, as, everybody have the time. Isaac, if you can't hold on, we'll have to yeah, put you to the Isaac name, was called. Isaac's name was called. Just hold on, he will respond. Yeah, That's why he's taking notes. Yeah, but Isaac's name was called. Yeah, one minute yeah, you can, we, can we give uh, uh, Tamalin the chance after that you come in? Okay. Senior from the captain. Let me address him. Isaac, Isaac, just hold on. After no, no, you come, come in. no, 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 Isaac, 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 Do. Isaac, Do. You're not going, Isaac, Do. You will not, you will not railroad the show. There is a color here. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, so, so, uh, just hold on, please. I'm, uh, hold on, please. We'll go to uh, Mr. Malik. Respectful and yeah, you, you, you're answering my question. He has not finished your. Yeah, so I'm sorry. Uh, Isaac, if you continue, we'll have to pull you backstage. Please, I beg you. If you continue, we'll have to pull you backstage. So uh, go ahead, uh, 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 Mr. Malik. Yeah, you, you, go down, go down. You wasn't finished answering my question. We, yes, you're as I was saying, I met with the people who are conducting the investigation for the sanctions and the visa restrictions. Those people are investigators and they are not politicians. Subsequently, I will meet with Chris Smith himself. And when I do, I will publish the pictures. And don't forget, a hearing will still be held. A hearing on Liberia. They are waiting until they have compiled their whole list because they're still compiling the, the list of people to be targeted. When they are done, they will call a hearing and I will testify. And why are people shocked that I would be called to testify? I am a direct victim of the government's brutal uh, violation and abuse of people's rights. I was chased. They tried to have me extradited. I'm a person of interest. There's nothing special about me. Nothing special. I'm just a person of interest. In the same way during the Doe administration, Ellen Johnson Sally was a person of interest. Normally, you remember, Ellen yes. testified before Congress. That is all that I am, a person of interest. Nothing particular about me. All right. And when I test uh, so, I will explain my story. Okay, I think uh, uh, we can go to uh, uh, Dr. Peabody. Dr. Peabody, go ahead, please. Let me just unmute uh, Dr. Peabody. Yeah, go ahead, sir. Uh, brother, brother Costa, uh, do you think sanction is appropriate for Liberia at this time? Looking at how difficult it is for the people, do you think it's appropriate? Uh, my dear Nimzik, Targeted sanctions. There's a difference. Maniski sanctions and, and asset freeze. There's a difference. The sanctions the Americans are bringing are not sanctions on the country. 
They are sanctions on individuals the Americans believe are hurting and destroying the country. Let me give an example. During the Ellen, the Ellen government administration, I was extremely critical of the, of, the, of, the, of the government. But guess what? The Americans now have brought target of sanctions on any government official of the Ellen government. But the Americans say this thing is getting too far. It's good. They told me the reason they are doing this is because they are concerned about the security of the country. Another thing that they told me is that they, they cannot wait to begin to establish the Africa Command. They want to relocate the Africa Command from Stuttgart, Germany. They want to relocate it to build an AFRICOM in, Li in Liberia. And they're also looking to attract investment. They want uh, um, American corporations like Walmart and IKEA Furniture and those people, or Home Depot, to build. They want to establish a special economic zone in the country. And they can't do that with this government in, in power. These guys are they, they are chaos. So, you know, they, 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 the Americans are just annoyed, period. You heard Chris, right. uh, forget my words. So target the sanctions, uh, Dr. P. Body. That's what the Americans are, are bringing. The hammer is heavy. Uncle Sam is coming with a big, big swish. It's not going to be easy. All right, I, I mean, uh, we can go to uh, George Lubo. Uh, of course, uh, thank you for that. Uh uh revelation but let me get to another point here real quick i like to stick to the very border issues uh because the people in Liberia are feeling it like you said initially uh since you start with the american involvement uh you know because you've been involved in this business for a very long time uh this is one of the very first time that we have a government given the fact that america is our traditional ally uh that it, the president the sitting president uh, the vice president, speaker, pro temp, chief justice, have not been invited for an official meeting in Washington, D.C. What does that say about the government? And what does that say about the, the CDC government foreign policy? We now, and let me just ask my second question before now. Uh, given what is happening, you talk about the economy. Uh, what should ordinary Liberians on the ground cost that? Giving your own assessment, uh, the market woman in in Nimba, in Ganta, where I grew up, for example, how do you feel this government foreign policy is impacting their ability to be able to have opportunities that will advance their lives and improve the living standard of their children? That is my question, Costa. I will begin to answer your questions by borrowing from Congressman Chris Smith a 42-year congressional veteran, the co-crafter of the Maniski sanctions that has booked so many people and are about to book many of our people in our government. He said, let me go to Liberia, a country with whom we have a very special relationship, being led by George Weir, a kleptocratic government. The, the reason the Americans have refused to grant a meeting to George Weir is because the Americans feel that George Weir is extremely corrupt and he's breaking the laws of the country on a massive scale. When the new ambassador came to Liberia, I am told when he went to meet with George Weir, Makati, I'm, I am told we are requested a meeting for him to arrange a meeting with him and Joe Biden. I am told Kelvin Makati told George Weir it is never, it is not going to happen. They say, Miguel asks, why? Is it because of the perception, the high perception of corruption? Now, that is diplomatic. That's diplomatically nuanced language. Perception. Now, when Kevin McCarthy was on his way to Liberia, who here watches a uh, confirmation hearing at the Senate? The chairman of the, of, of the Senate Foreign Affairs Committee, Senator Bob Menendez of the great state of New Jersey, where Chris Smith is from, he told Congressman Kevin McCarthy, there is too much corruption in Liberia. We are sending you there. If you are confirmed, we want you to go and fix the issue of corruption. Now, that is a Democrat, a senior member of the Democratic Party telling the ambassador that we're sending you to fix the issue of corruption in the country. So guys, the reason George Weah will never see an American president in his life, they will probably meet virtually somewhere, he would meet him in a hall like he met Trump. I mean, Trump in that, at that event in Paris. 
but to say an official invitation, George Weah will never ever meet an American president officially. It will never happen. And let me tell you this, George Weah will never come to Washington DC as president. Since becoming president, he is the first Liberian president in our recent history. Even Samuel Doe, the detector Doe. Doe had a meeting with Ronald Reagan. Reagan gave Liberia half a billion dollars. George Weah, as a democratically elected president, would never step foot at the White House. You go up, you come down, it will never happen. The Americans told me that. I submit. All right, sir, uh, we'll go to Kev Hassan. Uh, Kev, please come on. Uh, let me say this. The behavior on Minister Doe was very wrong, disrespectful. You guys uh, were very disrespectful towards Minister Doe. Um, and, and Emmanuel, that was being disrespectful towards Minister Doe because Ben Savi have interrupted so many times. We all interrupt to put him backstage. That was disrespectful. Okay, I don't uh, think uh, it was. Kev, I don't Kev, think Kev. it was right. Okay, uh, go Mr. Ahead. Do, Mr. Do was insulted by Costa. Call him names. He, he Minister don't have the right to respond. I did not insult Minister. To Do. respond, he should give him one minute or one second I, to respond. I did not re but disrespect him. him that you're not please hold on please hold on you will respond you please hold on please to hold tell him that he's not going to speak until we do all the round table that, that was unfair when i was speaking ben interrupted me that's what we do on the show but to put him backstage you never put ben backstage it was wrong. I think Emmanuel should apologize to Minister Do for putting back stage. Stage. It was wrong. It was okay. Uh, 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 Kev, Kev, let me say this. Let me say this, and let me say it very clear. I do not owe Minister Do an apology. And upon, and upon what I did, I did not put Minister Do. He left, and we are having the discussion in the group chat. He left, and I said, "You are one of the hosts." So hold on. You'll be given the opportunity. But you're so threatening him to put him back. No, no, I said I even you're muted uh, Ben. I muted Ben. I muted Costa. Just so we could Just have well, one. You're not threatening them to put them back. I said it because I'm going to put you backstage. Are we, are we no, going to make progress, progress yet? Yeah? So backstage. please, uh, Kev, I, I beg no, you. you I, I don't want. I don't want you all internally. Emmanuel or remove you were a backstage. I didn't. So we can discuss that issue up there, but I did not do that. And you have to get it straight. Go on with your question, please, sir. Exactly. Just as I guess, yeah, you know, um, let, let me let me, let me say this: this this platform belongs to the Liberian people. This platform don't belong to the opposition, nor the CDC government. Belong to the Liberian people, and everyone on this plan uh, on this platform should speak, should speak, and should give them time to to speak on this platform. We interrupt ourselves and we, 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 this is something that we, we, we do all the time. So I don't think it was right. It is wrong. But like, like we, we talk about, we'll talk about it again. But, and, and, and Mr. Costa, you know, um, you talk about people in this government at, kleptomania you talk about this but there's a tip that surface around of you soliciting 50,000 can you speak can you on speak that during the past uh, regime can you speak on that if that was your, your voice or is somebody pretending to be Costa can you speak can on that you know I'm a student of English literature. And there's a saying, flogging the dead horse. That horse will never walk again, my brother. That horse been dead a long time. You want to you want to wake the horse up? It's dead. Let me tell you something. It, it, it doesn't mean because it was the past government we should I talk about it, right? That's what you're May I speak? My man, one, one thing I'm not incapable of doing is, is speaking. That's what I do for the last 10 years. Listen to me. I'm a talk to a host. I've built a massive following, and I don't say that to brag. 
government, the past government and the present government have been chasing me down. I've been offered many deals. The conversation you're talking about was a conversation where I was offered $50,000 per year. Uh, I mean, cash down, like signing bonus and $5,000 monthly. That deal was offered by Fomba Sirleaf. The individual on the other end of the line is my cousin by the name of Musa Sako. Musa Sako was approached by Fomba Sirleaf to offer me a deal. If you listen to the conversation very well, Musa was the one who was making, was making a proposition. He was presenting the proposition from the government. The deal was simple. And I'll tell you why the deal did not work. The government under Fomba's I mean, at instruction wanted to have me discontinue my critical stance on the administration. In exchange, they were offering $50,000 and, and $5,000 monthly. Now, I countered. I said, guys, even if I were to consider this deal, and that part of the clip is there. I said, my man, if I were to consider this deal, the best or most I could do would be to leave the first family alone and bring the issues to the president about her officials. I said that in a particular audio. They went back and they came back to me and they said, no, we want you to not criticize the entire government. I said, no, I cannot do that. Now that is why the deal did not work because I would have thought they would have wanted me to, credit, to expose things that lieutenants in the government did and bring those issues to the president. But no, Fomba certainly wanted me to completely become a government puppet. So that is why it did not work. So that voice is my, is my voice. I was offered a deal. Let me tell you another deal I was offered. When I was going to Liberia for the June 7 protest, I arrived in Accra on May 15th. Natanya Mangale and Samuel Twesson are represented to Accra to meet with me. And they offered 200,000 United States dollars, which was already in Accra. I don't know how they got it there, that I should take the money, turn around and come back and say, I am sick. That's not the only deal they offer. After the protest, the second, uh, the, after the protest, I was on my way back to the United States. On the 17th of August, 2019, Natanya Mangale and Samuel Twesson, a guy called Jesse Kobwe, assistant minister of budget, to see me at fish market. Kobe came to me and offered a deal from McGill and Twer. 15,000 US dollars per month. That's not the entire thing. That, uh, the Sunday before I left, Samuel Twer texted me. Uh, 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 Costa, it's your say. Hold, hold on. Saying. Hold on. Talk about the deal. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Samuel Twer texted me a, a number for a number of deal. Samuel Twer and I met in Royal, Royal Hotel. It's in a room, word. he and I listen to me and to offered word. me. The one that you listen to me. I just answered your question. I didn't deny that that was my voice. I'm so telling you about which about offers that, that were made or offers that, that would be made by your government. You don't want to hear those offers. The two hundred thousand is your is your word. How can we believe that? It's your word. Has it's your government denied anything. it? So let's talk about one that you were on tape. Let's talk but, about but the what, 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 you what more do you want from me? The, the, you you make a phone call to another individual on that team. Oh my God, man! Find something else, man. But let's talk find about something the else. Yeah. That you admitted. I just answered the question. I was offered a deal, and you, I did you, not you, the you deal. make a phone call to an individual on that tape. Yeah, find something That's else. Yes, yes, between us, you find something else call. to say. Will it's you find something else? Accepted a deal. Kev, it is not even funny. You are becoming too embarrassing. Find something else. Find okay. something else. Okay, it's it's embarrassing when we have to pull pull, pull out. No, you are an embarrassing. Your 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 your, your behavior. We will have to tell the Liberian people your behavior. And you think the Liberian people haven't heard that recording? You, 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 you make a you, you make a telemini show on my deal. That's something you don't have proof. If you want to talk about my deal? You so you want to bring my girl up in this no, conversation? We, no, you, I you, want to talk about your fifty thousand. You want to bring up Mangale because I know Mangale. You don't know Mangale, Kev. I knew Mangale before you even became a sedition. So don't bring Mangale up because the things I will say about Mangale, you will not be happy. 
So Don't bring him up. So, if so, you really so, like Mangio, so you will not bring him up. So, so okay, that, uh, 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 I'm going to come again. Uh, so Costa and that of Kev Asan. Kev and Costa, please, again, I'm going to go this route. You guys need to come down. Kev, ask the question. Whoever you want to mention, ask the question and Costa respond, please. Yeah, so, Costa, Kev, go ahead with the question so that we can, you know, just ask your question. But that would be Kev's second question, Emmanuel. Oh, yeah, so, yes, I mean, because, I mean, I think he wanted to Make yeah, a follow up what Costa was saying. So let him go ahead. Go ahead, yeah, yeah, So another gentleman, he was on that tape speaking to <laughs> on that tape, accepting and say, Hey, we have to do this. So speak on that because you sound like, oh, they gave me a deal. I don't want it. But you there were another gentleman that you placed a phone call to. How you guys gonna go about the deal? So speak on that. <laughs> Kev, this thing is laughable. Kev Hassan. And this is the best use CDC you can come up with. Kev, let me tell you something. The thing about CDC is this. CDC hates people who are not corrupt like, like them. They always try to find things to make people corrupt like them. It's called moral equivalency. Yeah, I agree I'm corrupt, but you say corrupt too. That's the strategy you CDC use. So, Kev. As the same way you brought made, a dodgy, a dodgy, a dodgy guy. The deal was made. The deal was not accepted. Because I did not agree with the terms of the deal. A dodgy former mayor uh, Kev, of New York. Uh, uh, Mr. Hassan, you said he should respond. Please give him exactly. a chance. What, what are we doing? Because you said he should talk on that. So let's talk on it, then we can go ahead from there. And uh, Pedro, I don't think it's too funny. We can just, I, I answer, You can answer the question and just go ahead. Kev Hassan, my cousin Musa Saka called me, offered, conveyed a proposition made by former Sir Lee, former NSA boss. He said, cause? I say yes. He said, Fomba reached out to me. They want to offer you a deal. They say, you're giving the government hell too much. They want you to slow down the government. If you agree, they will give you $50,000 to, to, to begin the deal. This is Fomba. I didn't say Ellie. I said, Fomba, I leave. If you agree, we'll give you $50,000. And then $5,000 every month. I said, Kozo, even if I were to consider this deal, I will hmm. still have to criticize or discuss the issue. I cannot lose my critical edge. I will discuss the issues and I, it's there. It's heard on the tape. And this thing happened how many years ago? Uh, five, four years ago, 2016, my, my, dear, my, my dear brother. I did not take the deal. I did not change my tune. I did not support the government. So what is your point? I did not take the deal. I did not support the Ellen, the Ellen government ever. So what is your but point? You, but but you support a key member of the Ellen government that wanted to bribe you. As Who you is the key member? Bokai. Bokai is your you 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 support your key member that was part of Are you insinuating or you're asking a question? I'm asking you a question. Aha, uh -huh. now that you, you said that. Are Let you... me tell you something, Kev. I like Joe Bokai. Joe Bokai is a decent, fine man. Let me tell you something. I didn't know Joe Bokai back then. But when I got to know Joe Boaka, the way I know him, eh? in fact, I don't call him vice, former vice president. He calls me nephew. I call him uncle. Just so you know. Let me make full disclosure. But I handed Pedro Costa as an individual. I have not declared my, my support for Joe Boaka's bid for president. The COP that I chair will make an official declaration to that effect as to who becomes what. And we are considering waiting until the primaries are held before the COP will then endorse a candidate. The COP will not endorse a candidate in the CPP until CPP selection process is successfully satisfied and a unified candidate is produced and then the COP will throw its entire weight behind it and will deploy our, our machinery as we've done in the past to ensure that we obliterate your government and we replace them. But as far as my personal relationship is with Joe Boaga, it is fantastic. I love the old man. I love him so, so much. So, so much. Had he become president? No, oh, no, no, no. Let, let me ask you a quick question. No, let me ask you a quick question. No, 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 George, George, hold on. I think no, like, no, full question. No, 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 hold on. I beg you, George. I beg you, George. Let him ask his question. Let him ask his question, please. Yes. Ask about your government performance. Let, I want to hear you ask. Oh, 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 no, let, let, let him ask the question. You have the time to ask the question too. Costa, between, between and, and you and I, if you ever ask Joe Bokai why those people treated you the way they treated you and putting you 
and, and lock you up at Salt Beach. Why? And our people came to your rescue. Did you ever ask God, uh, uh, Umer, Bo uh, Umer Bokai, why, why was you part of the government that handcuffed you? Yes. Disgrace you. Yes. Freedom of speech. Yes. The conversation me and my uncle Joe have that not your business. Yeah, <laughs> okay, but that, but that, you have that, that, your that, that, I will not tell you. I think that I love Joseph Boyga very, very that, much. That, 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 you bad. I can't even your uncle. Your uncle put you in jail. Your uncle did not bad. Now you don't want saying saying. The government you tell you bad. The footage are out there. You are not going to my mouth. But keep the media very much. You want to make a song? I'll make a song all ahead, my man. My man, to forgive the man that who who, who treated you that way. <laughs> no, no, Joe, we are who chased me to Sierra Leone and, and tried to have me extra died. Joe, I ain't do nothing to me, my brother. Yeah. He so let's move on. Another another, another question. All right. So uh, Costa have better about ten more minutes yet. So uh, uh, ten uh, more minutes we'll and more. To, yeah. So we'll have or we'll we'll go to uh, Ben Semi. No, let George Lobo let George Lobo go in. Yeah, okay, minute. George, go ahead. Uh, uh, first and foremost, <laughs> you know, I would love to hear questions as it relates to the government and performance, but instead this conversation but is right. So, of course, I will come to substance on this on conversation. This uh, the, uh, the CDC government promised the Liberian people that she was going to lift 1.5 million people out of poverty. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you are a Liberian, you do have investments, you go back and forth in Liberia. Uh, what would you say, given your own assessment, as it relates to job creation? Because you are a talk show host, so you know what is happening in the country. Can you speak to that? And also, in terms of employment, can you just do a comparison between what employment was like before, uh, in the previous regime, and what you think is happening under this government in terms of job creation? Then before I will give my follow up on that. Um, my dear brother, not only has this government not created one job, but it has caused jobs to be lost. Plenty of jobs. Let me give you an example. I had 24 employees. I only now have five. Thanks to George Weir. Companies that were in the country have left. Not only NGOs, companies have left. Because the environment is not conducive for them to operate. Every day, right now, as of July the 1st, the government is about to introduce a new uh, levy, a new tax. They are compelling business people of people who import and produce alcoholic beverages to buy a sticker. That sticker costs 2.5 cents. They were selling in a 1,000 piece package. And each will cost 25 US dollars. A Ghanaian com company co-owned by McGill is doing the deal. They will take 50% of the money and the government will take, the LRA will take the other 50%. This government is looking for ways to create more hardship, drive away investors. And so they're not creating jobs. When you ask them what are the job numbers, like you're right, they said they will create what 1.5 million jobs in the first six years at the rate of 250,000 new jobs per year. What they were depending on, nobody know. Maybe they must have had a very good time at Jamaica Resort that day, and that number just came hallucinating to them, and they saw that number. So I don't know what the boys were depending on, but the boys have not created any jobs. To the contrary, they have caused jobs to be lost. All right. Things. Let me let me give you my follow up uh, with that perspective, uh, Mr. Costa. I know you've stressed the need for investment in the healthcare sector and education. Uh, we know the previous government, which was the UP government, uh, like you admitted that everything was not hundred percent. But at least you were in the country; you were a major voice. What is your own assessment, given investments that was being made by the previous government in the healthcare sector? in the education sector and compare that to what has been done by the government of the man who loved the country, 
What will you say as a talk show host, giving your own assessment? Have this government done anything to improve education for our people? Have this government invested in the healthcare sector as promised to the Labrador people? Nothing. Fourteen military has not been completed, just so you know. <laughs> The 44 condominiums were completed much quicker than 14 military. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, it is the longest running unfinished project in the government. So there is no care, no interest to fix anything. The government believes in platitudes and pleasant, pleasant and, 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 and cos cosmetics. That's what they believe in. They don't believe in anything substantive because they don't have the, the gravitas to conjure up and design sustainable, substantive agenda. They don't have any. If you ask them now, what is the economic policy? They will not tell you what it, what it is. And some of will just sit there and be blabbering all kinds of things that don't make sense. So this government, they are lost. The boys came to hustle and they have hustled enough. But when we beat them in 2023 and take power, we'll put them in jail and seize everything that they've hustled. That's what we're going to do. I know Kev Hayes to hear this, but that's what's going to happen. <laughs> all right. So uh, let's go back to Sintamali, you done with your question, right? Yeah, no, no, that, that was George. That was that's okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll, go back. Yes. Uh, uh, Costa, I know you'll be graduating uh, in a few weeks from now. And... Yeah, I'm so excited. Actually, yeah, I submitted yeah. my very final uh, piece of academic paper today. I'm very excited, guys. Yeah, congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. Uh, so, but now yeah. I, you just listen to. Is Kev invited to the graduation? Huh? Oh, yeah. Kev, Kev, uh, Kev, my man. No matter all the things we do here. Okay, I'll jump against you. Kev, my man. Kev is invited. Kev, not far from, from my player. Yeah, I, I, I come back to the question about your, your, your going to Liberia. Most of the time, yeah, officials of the government talk about you go face justice and so forth. And just a just few minutes ago, Minister, Deputy Minister Doe said you should first turn, turn yourself over to the government for, for to, to face justice. Uh, and you have made it clear that you are you will, you will be going to Liberia. And even recently, the CPP officials over here, they said that you'll be going to Liberia and they will protect you. So are you confident that if you go like bro, the government will not arrest you uh, to charge you for what they said you, you it's one passport you should talk about? Tom Malin George, I'm a revolutionary. Jay House is my friend. Every time I go to jail, my political capital increases. Every time the government goes after me, my political capital increases. Joia is the best thing that ever happened to Henry Costa's political career. Ellen Johnny Salib might have tried, but we are talking up to another level on steroids. I love this guy. He chased me in Sierra Leone. The Sierra Leone again, Carlo Carlo Pay, they let me come to America. He tries to do all kinds of things to me. It is George Weah who made the Africa report uh, categorize me as the 33rd most influential uh, African. Thanks largely to the efforts, the combined efforts of all of us by putting the June 7 protests together. So, yes. Let me just call you that. So, um, uh, Mr. Pedro Costa, can we say this was a plan tactic by you to have yourself a popular uh, riding on uh, President Weah popularity by going through all of these things just so you could get the attention that you have, like you're not boasting that the president made you who you are? Was it a plan that you wanted to use him so that you could get to that or uh, to that height where you are today? My man, listen, you cannot drive if, if the horse is not willing, it cannot be ridden. This is a willing horse willing to violate my rights and other people's rights, willing to try to chase me into Sierra Leone, and this horse was willing. All I did was talk, and the willing horse did not hesitate to act. John, we are, I will ride this ball all the way to political glory. I am coming to Liberia in December of this year. I will have backed my bachelor's degree. My master's degree program will begin in September. I will be in school online. So guess, guess what, be, be, before I come, I will have submitted, in fact, that will be the holiday season. When I come, it will be December, school will be closed. So when I go to jail, if I stay there for two, three weeks, or how long, I, when I come out, I will still be able to continue my studies. So this is a willing horse. I didn't force the horse to ride it. It is willing, it is saddled, and I will ride it to, it's, to my glory. All right, so um, uh, at this point, I think we've, we've gone. The 10 minutes with Costa and uh probably uh Pedro, you have another thing to say I before you leave because we have to go do post. I gotta go up the grill and I gotta close that. My man, uh, John Lubbock knows how, how, how I can put the grill down. 
Y mi mamá, Tom Wellington, ¿no? Para un bank ahí. I can't be for the graduate. So you... eh, más de higa, tú pasas mí. I can't be for, I can't be for the graduation. You will see, we will have a cook showdown. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. 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 Because the Americans have put me as a wait before I go so they can tie in over a minute. I try to do some back door things. Because you said me. Now you say. Come on, the Americans put me to wait. I'm not telling you. He said the Americans told him to wait. Go, 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 man. Okay, Pedro, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you, thank you very much, gentlemen. My man, thank you. It was nice having you. Ali Kivu, drink water now. They, yeah, Pedro Gola Kivu, last. <laughs> uh, uh, so, I mean, so um, all I, I can say is for me, I don't know, like what we start the, the, the discussion <laughs> shortly, uh, because we have to close at uh, 10 30 on my end. Okay. And then uh, I don't know, that's going to be around 6 30 your end, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we, yeah. We, 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 in 10 minutes. Uh, so, so, we can all say that the, all that Costa have been doing was just. Uh, acting in a drama that was written a long time ago from his statement? Let me let me say this. Uh, it can be interpreted uh, many ways, depending on which side of the eye you are. Uh, other people who strongly believe in the guy, uh, they will say definitely the guys are revolutionaries. For me, like I've always said, uh, of course, I myself, we do have disagreement. I think the bad man that knows me for that. But I've always, I never had nothing against him. You got to understand one thing. In Liberia, uh, we have a society which is a talking society. And you find out that people who don't talk, it, it becomes a liability to you. And, and I'm going to be honest. I mean, a man built a radio station. He has a platform. Many people follow. And the man just told you how many uh, offers were made to him because of that. So the CDC government should have known it. I think that was why the United Party government was calculated. Uh, not running beyond Costa way too much. Because the guy just told you I was a horse. Waiting, someone came and I was willing, and I just ride away. The CDC government, let's not forget though, the CDC government, I think, have done that not only to Costa, uh, so there's so many other people. You know, a friend of mine, I was joking somebody the other day, I said, if I really wanted to, to launch a major political career, I'll have the CDC government run my campaign for me. They've been very successful in doing that. So they, they, they created it, and I mean, Costa is smart. Uh, the government gave him a, a window, he's taking advantage of it. He will tell you, I always joke you on it. And I tell you, I said, my man, you, you can't boast of A and don't and don't 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 go with the pain. So I mean you can interpret it that way for some of so some people who, who like the guy who support him, they don't see it like that. They they just feel that the government is after him and the government continues to make it seem like that. So it just depends on how you want to interpret. At the end of the day, uh, uh Emmanuel, uh you can't hit the player, hit the game. What happens for him happens for him. I wish you all the best. I just hope he continues to use it for the best. To benefit the country, that's all I get wishing. That's all I say. I I think um I think I think I I will say the government and and this government has it, it's it's a it's a part of this government's DNA to be reactive, and 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 I think they have look say what you want to say. I remind this government all the time. <laughs> he knows I have this conversation with him all the time. At one point in time, you had Costa talking for you. How did you let him go? You didn't. I'm sure you didn't bribe him before before he came to talk for you, right? So I think at the end of the day, it's about it's about understanding and knowing your timing. And what I think this government was able to do, and, and I'm glad that he, he he said it the way he said it, that he gave them credit, right? Because with all of the the, the excesses and with all of the challenges he had under the Ellen government. One thing that I know the Unity Party government was consistent about was that they were very careful in making, you know, what they will call unnecessary heroes, right? I think they made they made a couple of, of missteps with Vendela Patricks, right? Yeah. When they arrested Vendela Patricks and Vendela Patricks became... Because that was the first time we, we, we started seeing that pressure, right? Then the Henry Costa thing. But ironically, though, and I, well, I always remind my friends and brothers from the side, from the CDC, that the CDC people who are marching with Costa during the Unity Party years. So, exact, so that's why I find it mind-boggling that they, they, you want to call it, fell right in his trap, right? 
Because I think when you have experience, when you learn from the past, you don't make the mistakes of the past. One other thing before I, I, I close, I want to say, and I, and, and I know, and I'm glad that he brought it up because we were going to make it official at some point, the COP was, is that, we, you know, and I think, I think that's the smartest thing to do is to not tip the skill in the CPP primary because of one simple reason. Either one of these people may end up being the, 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 the CPP nominee, right? And you don't want to create a situation because as important as the primary is, the general election is more important. You need everybody for the general election. So you don't want to put yourself in a situation where the general election come, then there's hard feelings, right? So as a major pressure group, which the COP, the COP is, the COP, I think it was the smart decision for the COP to make because the COP would be very powerful in the campaign for the general election. And I thought it was, it was, it was a, it, it's a, well, brilliant, a brilliant move. Matter of fact, to your question, you actually see like the guys are saying, uh, okay. like, to, take, to take for example, uh, yesterday I got in my inbox, people sending me houses, said that they don't cannot buy a house here. You cannot close the deal. You cannot, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like when, when you, when you do these things, I mean, and these are my friends from the from the CDC doing doing, 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 doing social thing. I told one guy, I said, look, I mean, when you do this thing, why are you, of course, the question will be asked, why are you attacking this one man? Your kid, you'll say he got a, he signed for a check. And the kid, kid, kid of final, it was, I mean, I just, something that, that, that was just made up. No evidence beyond what it was saying. Okay? Okay? And up to now, I, I, I told one of them, I said, you think if it was serious, they got some loud voices in the CDC that would have been the one lead, leading that, that, that chorus. But they wouldn't have given it to Kev to come and bring it. No. Okay? Like, like, and honestly, like, since the man been here, they've been saying, they gave all kind of excuse. Oh, he came for the one. Wait, 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 wait. I, 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 brought, I, I brought a house. No, a house? no, not you, nah, not you. Okay, so well, don't call my name on a no, house. No, I said, I I said mean, for instance, right? <laughs> for instance, that the two million that you talk about. If there are anything true, you, you, you think <laughs> you're going to get what you to bring? The, the, the yeah, attack, they don't know. I have no, no idea yeah, but, about no house. Yeah, but they gave me a picture and said that the house, they don't know. I, I don't Why? want the social media to be yeah. on something I Kev, say, I took okay, my Kev, house. I don't know, but you guys took my house. I don't have a clue. No, but you're not scared. Why are you scared? You scared, huh? So, I think something something wrong. Wrong. What? 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 Answer your question wrong. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I, I think the government should focus their time on the brand, the brand, but you should fucking like brand people that will be just attacking uh, or critics, their critics easily. You know, in order, in order, in order, in politics, the government got surrogates. You send people to so you know something, if they person you talk, like for instance, let me give an example. If in a political party, right? Let's say Ben, Ben is, is, is a chairman of a party. If Ben attack, attack, attack the government. You know, you want me, you want me Ben to feel that he, why well, the attack is, is, is nothing. You send one of your low key officials to respond to Ben. So that when a low key official says respond to that man. So, so then you know that we, we dignify you, you know, him. there is no such thing like low uh, key so, so, so are you, are you, you are you, know, are you the, saying? The, the stop this thing. No such thing like low key official. There's yes. no such thing like that. Yeah. I mean, no, 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 you, 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 no you are talking about, about uh, yeah. You seen the tear of Madame Elling where he, she said noisy minority? Yeah, you see, like Mrs. Manasali, that woman, what you're doing? You see, look, that, that, that's that former president. She understood the Labrian political landscape, she understood the Labrian political culture so well that she was able to survive 12 years. And honestly, you think Madame Sali kept the CDC at bay? Yep. I kept them at bay. There were a lot of things she, that, that she did. When yep. CDC could say, look, when, when, when CDC, CDC had press come and say, look, we put the people in the street today to do this thing. What happened later on? It, it will calm down. You know what happening? Or well, behind the scenes, she was playing a game behind the scene. She had her official government friends with, with, with President We are friends with, with Chairman Malu, friends with, the, with, with my gate, they were all friends. So what thing happened? She said, one go talk to your friend. That how it was happening. And how she kept CDC at bay for 12 years. In the CDC and the CDC terminal. Uh, uh, yeah, because we have to put the camera uh, in the CDC. I, I know, I know. That's, that's quick. And the CDC helped Mrs. Salif image. Of that's course. what I keep telling. That's what I keep telling the CDC folks. Exactly. Salif projected the image to the world like she, a democracy was vibrant. She was telling it, yeah. Major opposition party that's putting my feet to the fire. That even to the point where they can get in the street, they can walk with cascade, they can do different things. And guess what? Nothing can happen to them. The, anyway, majority, I, I, man. All right. I, I, majority. All right. So let's go to uh, Kev. Kev, go ahead quickly before we bring in the minister. You know, um, um. 
Mr. Costa said his Pentagon thing was trumped by the, 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 the CDC. He said that. He said, they have chosen me to speak at the Congress. He said that. And he took a picture at the Pentagon. And then he took another picture at the Pentagon Mall. He put that out. Not the CDC. For, for, for our guys, some of them on this panel will want to buy that crap. I don't know. But go back and, and listen to Mr. Costa. He said, they have chosen me to speak. I will be speaking in a couple of weeks. He said that. He took a picture at the Pentagon. I know I, I, I live close to the Pentagon. I, I, I can drive from here to the Pentagon as I speak. It, it just around the corner. That you don't go to the Pentagon to talk no political uh, things. These are army people, my man. Let me just say in the library with army people. But he took a picture. Yes, you can see, you can go in the Pentagon Mall and have a meeting. Fine. It's right there. So, uh, Kip, like the question I was asking, uh, do you believe the whole Costa hero and this is a script written that he's just acting, like he said today? Well, you, you said the whole cost that you, you mean getting out of Liberia and all those things? Getting out of Liberia, uh, making sure that uh, he's being chased. Do you believe also that it was a script written by, you know, just for he was but just let, acting let, like he said? Let, the horse were willing to rise, so he just took advantage of it. Let me say this. Let me say this. Uh, and uh, it's it, it just because of COVID, but Costa can fit in Hollywood. <laughs> he can do business in Hollywood. And, and, and y'all will be the director. <laughs> How, about that? How about that? This your guy government is CDC will start that movie. movie. <laughs> you're good at marketing him. So you, know the worst, you know the worst part? Uh. Educated people believe him. And sometimes when I listen to educated people believe those things. Let me give you one example. When Costa said there is a doctor from France is going to do a kidney surgery on the president, kidney transplant in the president home. Educated people believe that crap. They believe that crap. And I said to myself, Liberia is the only country around that region will believe such a crap. And he said, the three missing boys kidney. Who carries sex kidney? <laughs> Who carries sex kidney? <laughs> I said that, the Liberian people believe. Who believe that crap? So, uh, 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 I, 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 I worry for our nation. But why you think they believe you? Why? Why? That's the question. Why? Because we gullible. You we think it's the gullibility? Everything we gullible. So they believe. But, but, Keith, and the people believe in George. We are that he loved the country too. Exactly. Why and you I about it? Judge. Judge, don't even go with that. With no, no, that is not going to be. You're talking about belief. Do they have go different type of well, belief? Let, I'm not going to go to that. But let's go with the things uh, that people believe in. The things that uh, just little things. How can somebody, somebody say there's a container of money behind the president's house? People believe that crap. But, 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 Kev, Jesus. Kev, Kev, the Liberian people. Kev, the Liberian people overwhelm. Let me say this to you. Ben Savi. George Lobo, Tom Lee George, you, 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 got, you got the opportunity to educate our people. Forget about politics. How? Forget about <laughs> politics. We're going to be all tomorrow. Do you want to leave our nation? Oh, my God. Do you want to leave a stupid nation? Do you want to leave... But you don't want to answer that question. Man. Hold on, I want to answer the question for Keith. Or do, you want want to leave, the or do you want to leave a nation with people... <laughs> Have their mind believe in themselves that they can make their own rational decision. They can make their own mind. Then somebody control their mind. Costa said, I'm here <laughs> to control their <laughs> mind. Let me ask you. So, Kevin, let me ask you. So, Kevin, so, 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 I want one quick question. So, seditions believe that I went to the Ministry of Finance 
and I stole forty-five thousand dollars from the Ministry of Finance. Are they gullible? Are they stupid? Yes or no? Ben, we're talking something. We're talking something. Uh, 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 but I'm just different. trying to tell you, you that can, we live in a ben, society. You can clear that out. You have oh, the oh. chance to clear that out. Oh, wow. Ben, 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 wait. Ben, I want to answer that question, please. Give me a chance. Doctor. Imana, please, can I respond to this question, please? In the president's home. Chief, let me answer. Uh, come on now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Chief. Judge, judge, judge. All right, no, that's why I agree with you. Chief, that's why I agree with you. You don't believe that crap. That's why I agree with you. I'm going to hold you guys. Uh, please, George Lobo, Kev Asan, uh, Ben Sevi, please, let's hear from uh, Minister Do. Uh, Minister Do, on the issue has to do with... Uh, uh, you know, yeah, you're not the, 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 the issue of the issue is fighting. Like he said, I know he was just like a horse. He was just waiting to ride, and the president giving the opportunity. Do you believe the whole Constantine as a hero is just a script rating, and he just acting on it? Well, before I go to the non-issue, let me talk about what may be a little of importance here. Of course, you know. Uh, I don't follow Costa per se, but I always respect him. But I want to say this on this platform. Some of us being here has a lot of heat that we take. Let me tell you quickly. And I thought uh, all of us must deserve respect from each other. You know, it is appalling to me to see someone come on here and refer to one of your colleagues in a very disrespectful manner. And I don't see all of you going at them. Of course, I will now have anyone, be it a government person, refer to Ben, refer to Tommy, refer to anyone in a very disrespectful manner. But you know one thing that is good? In the eyes of the brother who just left, I will never be significant simply because I'm not a blackmailer. I've never blackmailed anyone. So in his shoe, I would never be significant. But trust me, every other part of life, Costa and I are not on the same level. When it comes to education, we are not on the same level. He's a baby brother to me. When it comes to work experience, we are not there. He's a little kid to me. Whatever place it comes on, we are not compatible. There is only one place where, of course, he beat me down to be a crook, to be a loud mouth person, and of course, a blackmailer. I'm not one. Good thing for me, I'm matured, I'm respectful person, and of course, whenever I speak, People around get to understand the person who is knowledgeable of the issue of faith. But my only disappointment is with you guys on the show. I wouldn't have gone, you know, with Costa back and back because I know where Costa stands. Really? We are not compatible in any sense. I mean, Costa, besides the microphone, there is nowhere else Costa can walk. He doesn't have a qualification for anything besides microphone, blackmailing people, loud mouth talking and all this stuff. You understand? But... I thought we should respect each other. In my capacity, I'm the Deputy Minister for Youth Development. One can hate it, one can like it, I'm who I am. There are many things I could have done, but I usually prefer to be the person I am, very calm, going, and not into all the kind of things around. I could get into plenty of things if I want to. I can be all right around the place. Listen, with all respect to my government and my people, I don't think there is someone who will look at me anyway as if I mean, you are not qual qual qualified for anything. I'm qualified to be anything. Anything that unfortunately my brother Costa cannot be. He will never be a deputy minister because he doesn't have anything to make him one. But again, uh, I just thought you guys on the platform should have handled that very respectfully, professionally, and to give me my, my little respect. I do. Hey, I'm a government official. It is a good thing that I'm giving that little respect. All of us here. One day somebody here will be. Tommy uh, or, or, or Ben. I respect Ben a lot because he was one there. And I'm not going to take that away from him. And I thought. I thought that was not okay. That's why I decided to leave for the loud mouth brother who just goes around talking and blackmailing people. So just leave the show before I come on. But let's go to the real topic here. Um, the real issue here is that, listen, I know we're talking about citizen agencies. I know my brother, uh, Josh Lobo is here. He wants to go beyond the, the old man, no problem. But at the end of the day, like I was saying before the brother interrupted me, um, no one in this country going to take setting for uncertain. I don't think anyone is going to do that. No one is going to tell people that everything is rosy, we are okay, no problem. Of course, we're going to acknowledge our problems. 
You hear people accusing people every day of things they can never prove. Imagine one of your guests who just left talking about um, uh, um, Minister McGill used to live with him. Imagine talking about, oh, that's some crap. Like, how does that matter? Anyways, I have stopped with friends before. All of me have stopped with someone. Does that mean you never had a scent? What kind of a rubbish is that? That is just pure nonsense and I thought below the bread of this show. Those are not kind of a things you'll be giving credence to. If you come here to accuse someone, at least show to the people that you are a credible person. Imagine someone talking about government give them 200,000, government give them 5 million contract, they refuse it. The same person was on show begging for people to contribute money. What? Who in their right mind can think you can come on a platform to beg for people to contribute that nickel or dime at the same time you're refusing 200,000? Who is that uneducated person? I want to see that person. Like, those kind of things for me, I don't like to waste my breath on it because they are absolutely nonsense. You know, I thought we should be, we should, we should maintain the sanity of this show and ensure our listeners actually enjoy things we discuss professionally, maturely, and in a way that, that represents this country and us young people. I just wanted to put that on. Thank you. Uh, All right, thank you. Uh, uh, well, quickly, we have to, we'll be wrapping up shortly. I'm wrapping up real quick. Uh, uh, I want to end on something real quick, Emmanuel. Uh, Minister Doe, thank you for coming back. You and I, Umpire, you can't get mad at me because no matter what. You, you keep, I told you, you need to, you can be asking for respect and you refer to the former vice president who served before you address the old man. That's disrespectful. So you can't respect your parents. I told you and keep a son. That is unacceptable. You can't be asking us to, to respect you as a public servant. Which good you point, know I do. Good point, George. Very good. I respect point. Judge, 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 because Judge, it is Judge, the way a citizen gives people that be quiet. Let me finish. Judge, it is the way that you give back to your country. So I appreciate I that. And the fact that you can be referred to him as the former vice president. His you heard last year the other day. He has earned his traps. Yeah. No, no more. I will not take that for you moving forward. Never right. refer to him from now on as that woman. He I is agree. one of Liberia's oh, finest. Okay. Judge, you get it now. Judge, you get it now. So let me respond. Hold on. Keith, hold on. You get it now. Why did he have a problem with allowing me to speak? I don't know. Exactly. Why? I just don't know. You people will have to listen at some point in time. What are you doing on spoon? At some point in time, seditions will have to let George Bobo speak. I don't care how much you interrupt. Judge, go ahead. Keep us on your acts. If we want to leave a country with people who are not smart, I will not use your same words you use. Because for me, I've always said, I value the Liberian electrics and I believe in the Liberian people. Even though we live in America today, I went to high school and some of my college in Liberia. Regardless of the educational system, I'm grateful for those teachers who woke up every day to impact knowledge into some of us. And because of that, that is why I don't like people to just look down on the educational system. I agree there's a need for improvement, but you will never see me look down on it. Give us some, here's our wishes. Our goal is to make sure that the next generation will be better off than ours. But we cannot get them there if we don't make the necessary investment now. We will not be able to get them to be educated when we are cutting funding for school of the blind and dumb, when we are reducing subsidies for schools, when we are making allotments and your government cannot make the funds available, when your president says he will buy armchairs in 2020, we are in 2021, and now one school can boast of five chairs. We cannot educate our people by lying to them. So what, what it is true, Keith, we want to leave a, an educated society. We want to create opportunities. This is why we have said, rather than building condominiums, rather than YFC. Taking, let me finish. Lobo, you have just 30 seconds. Mr. Lobo, you okay, got 30 let me wrap up on this. Yeah. Rather than taking 50 men delegation to Beijing, Rather than going to Europe to go tap football, we are asking your president to invest in human capacity development, in manpower building. That is how we build our future, Keith. And this is why we feel your government can do it. And because of that, I told my brother, as a do, sooner or later, you guys' life will be better in the opposition and we'll be prepared. To but you were there for 12 years. You All right, thank you. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, Mr. Lugo. Let's let's You were there for 12 years, Georgie. Kev, Kev, go ahead. Go ahead, Kev. This man was there for two. You know, when John Noble talked, <laughs> and, and sometimes I, I just feel like maybe it was other UP. Your your own your your okay, let me let me not say Omer Bokai. Vice <laughs> presidents 
Vice President. His Excellency. His Excellency. Put a man title there. Excellency. Don't bring no disrespect yet. You might you call this show of him. Not be no His Excellency. No, no, come on, come on. You're holding him. You are too young. No, we will respect that you, uh, you please allow him because we have just yeah. two minutes. Call him many. Call him many. Call him the title. Call him for me. Was there for, tw for 12 years, Georgie. You act like the UP, the new party. The new party. <laughs> Georgie. Is the Labrion people stupid? <laughs> Seriously, Georgie, it's the Labrion people stupid. You know why? The Labrion people are not stupid. All right. They are not. Thank you. Thank you. The thank Labrion you. Thank you. And are, are not. They know that the UP party was there for 12 years. So don't pretend like you're a new kid on the black. You're not. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, St. Mali. Liberia right, shall rise again in 2023 to wars unknown. Liberia burned herself in the ashes of self-destruction, but she shall rise again to war as unknown. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I can tell you, gentlemen, gentlemen. Your kente share is nice, though. Thank you. 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 At the end of the day, we are we we pray for Liberia. You know, everywhere you go nowadays, you, you know, a family gathering, in a social gathering, even in a church, everywhere you go. Uh, so you know, go ahead quickly. Yeah, Liberia is the one that we're talking about. Talk about Liberia. We want the best for Liberia. You know. So don't I'm having problem with you. I don't know. I've never seen George Lebo as one responding here. No. Uh, okay. So um. They, they hear me. Doctor Piba, hear me? Yeah, yeah, the man. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So Doctor Piba, go ahead. I no, think but, I, I'm still oh, talking. Okay, like, go ahead. <laughs> that, that, that CDC internet using, yeah? Yeah, yeah, he only proposed that way. Yeah, but, but, but gentlemen, just to end, my pardon is my law. I know the day we talk about Liberia, all in our, 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 our very lives, every day we go, we talk about Liberia. At the end of the day, we want the best for Liberia. And like I said, this 2020 election will be different from all elections that Liberia ever had, ever, ever had in recent times. And we want the best, we want the best gun for our, for our country. Because like somebody, Mr. Cummings said, the other day he was here, I quote him, he said, we are, we are behind time. We, like we are we are way behind. We're behind oh, and that's true. We travel to other countries, we see what, what's happening there. And we cannot be sitting down here and, and, and pretending like all is well. No, we want the best of Liberia. And if we can only put our resources to, to, to the areas of, of priority, our country will, will, will do better. And I pray and hope that Liberians, we all get involved in, in, in the process of 2023. We'll be on that ground and make people to make the right decision. So like I said, I'm not endorsed no one. I'm still in active oh, I'm, I'm, I'm still in active in active uh, sedition. Who know I'm a party? I'm 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 endorsed the opposition. I don't know yet, but look at look at look at one of the sedition is always a sedition. All right, please let's 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 give uh Dr. P Valley the opportunity. Let me just say that there is still hope in the midst of all the degradation. There is still hope in the midst of pain, in the midst of trial, in the midst of hunger, in the midst of injustice, in the midst of pregnancy, death, there is still hope. And I want to say to the Liberian people, there is hope. Vote well. Vote your conscience. Vote for policy. 2023 is around the corner. There is still hope. God bless you. There, you know, there, is, there is still hope. hope. There is still hope. But there yeah, was, one minute for you, Ben. Yeah, you're open yeah. one minute, please. Yeah, there is still hope, but not hope for change. There is still hope, but not hope for change. What? So I would say this. First of all, let me congratulate. Let me let me congratulate His Excellency Doctor Doctor Bekube Doctor George. We are on his award from Sierra Leone. So give your clap for me now, and I tell the president congratulations. Uh, for, 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 for his award, he was awarded in Sierra Leone. We want to congratulate the president and congratulate Liberia because he won it in honor of Liberia. But yeah, uh, Emmanuel, it was a great, great conversation. It got heated. I said, though, it, good, it looks it's good to, to have you back. You know how it is. Uh, 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 Minister Do, your excellency, your, your excellency here, right? But no, it was a, it was a great conversation, man. And, and God, look forward to doing this. Uh, and uh, Liberia is all we have. We'll keep, we'll keep doing it. We'll keep arguing. Until we get right. it right. Keep make sure you take the pressure off the pills. 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 Take the pressure off the pills.
But I, yeah, I right. think you want to congratulate the president. Let me tell you that one of the most powerful members of the <laughs> U.S. Senate, Chris Kuhn, who actually chairs very big committee, has showered love of praises on Liberia because of the leadership exhibited during the time of the uh, Medellin. <laughs> that is not we should true. Be president, we should be president this country, and we you should be president watch what happened. No, but when I met, let me read the bed. Who who keeps telling us that our life would be better? Is that you feel better? Okay, the people just from there twelve years and telling us our life would be better. You know what? Let's end the show. It's okay. All right, thank you guys. It's a wonderful show. Sorry. Uh, tomorrow promises to be a very exciting one because we'll be talking about uh, the issue of why the, only the two Liberty uh, Party senators have been uh, no, are in uh, America and why they were only given visa. Oh, Lord. In, 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 you know, in, in, in uh, the U.S. We'll talk about that tomorrow. So tune in and the CEO will be on tomorrow as well. Uh, I know something that got so hard, but uh, that's how it is, man. You know, but I, I didn't want to say this, but I didn't have to say it to Minister Doe. <laughs> you know, you, you. I don't want to defend anybody, but you started the yeah, interview. Cool, 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 cool. You, 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 you said, you said, you got a lot of party sentiments to take over your whole yeah, body. Yeah, what's You started you 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 anger. You started anger. You started anger. You said it, man. You said it, you yeah. not hearing anything. All you hearing are they shouting and noisy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what started the heat? You started the heat. God bless, gentlemen. Okay, do that, guys.